Hello everyone, I'm Joshua Andrews, Senior Staff Technical Certification Developer here at Nutanix. Today we're going to talk about our advanced certification, the Nutanix Certified Master Multi-Cloud Infrastructure, NCM MCI version 6. I'll be giving an overview of the certification, going over what topics are covered on the exam, and providing some tips on how to prepare. I'll also give a quick demo of the live lab exam environment, and run through a sample question. The purpose of the NCM MCI certification is to validate a candidate's ability to analyze, evaluate, and optimize AOS performance, configuration, and health, plus ensure candidates can remediate and evolve the platform to be in compliance with business requirements. Candidates for this exam should have three to five years of industry and two to three years of hands-on experience with AOS. You must also have a current NCP version 5 or version 6 or a current NCM5 certification. The format of the exam is a little different from our existing multiple choice NCA and NCP exams. The version 6 NCM MCI exam is given in a live lab exam environment. You will be provided with scenarios consisting of some or all of background, requirements, configuration, existing or requested, and access information for the clusters. Now let's jump into the demo. The NCM MCI exam is scheduled and launched the same way as the NCA and NCP exams through the certification dashboard. After launching, the NCM MCI version 6 exam opens with a brief overview. Clicking start will launch you into a remote desktop and start the exam timer for the 15th scenario 3 hour exam. Once in that desktop, a browser will open with additional information about the environment. Note that I am demoing this in a beta environment which has 12 hours and had 18 scenarios. Let's look around the desktop. You'll see we have Firefox as our default browser. We have a folder containing files and other documentation you might need during the exam. In fact, the documentation folder contains extensive documentation in PDFs about the exam components. We also have Acrobat Reader, and you'll want to familiarize yourself with the advanced search function. This function will allow you to search all the documentation provided to you at one time. We also have a link back to the initial browser page, which will show you all the scenarios in case you happen to close that browser window. And we see Postman and Putty links. Clicking Continue Assessment will open up Task 1. You'll see it identifies which cluster will be used for this scenario and will display access information for that cluster. You may not need all of the information presented for each scenario. While the majority of the scenarios are performed on cluster A, please be sure to note, some scenarios are performed on clusters B and D. Make sure you're performing the tasks on the correct function, as no points will be awarded if you perform the wrong action on the wrong cluster. With that in mind, please remember this is a live exam which is scored at the conclusion of the session. If you're told to create an object and you later delete that object, you may receive no points. If you perform an action and forget to click save, you may also receive no points for that scenario. Okay, let's look at this item. Running NCC in a cluster prior to an upgrade results in the following output. Fail CVM system partition slash home usage at 93%, greater than threshold 90%. Identify the CVM with the issue, remove the file causing the storage bloat, and check the health again by running the individual disk usage health check only on the problematic CVM. Do not run the full NCC health check. Note, make sure only the individual health check is executed from the affected node. Note that you may not find that exact message in the environment, but you should expect one of the CVMs on that particular cluster to have a very high home usage. If you happen to see all CVMs are at 20% and one is at 85%, the one at 85% is the one we expect you to look at. Also, we're specifically calling out there is a file causing the problem, so we're not looking for hundreds of extra log files strung about somewhere. Also note, it specifically tells you not to do something. While that certainly indicates the course of action would gain you no points, it's possible performing that action, executing all of the NCC health check, might prevent you from obtaining all possible points for that scenario. So, step one is to identify the CVM with the issue. Well, there are a couple ways to do this. Let's connect directly to one of the CVMs.
And note that I'm using the mouse, right click, copy and paste. This is because the keyboard shortcuts do not work in the secure browser. Now that I'm on one of the CVMs, I'm gonna run the all SSH command. I will run my DF command on each of the CVMs in the cluster. And looking around a little bit, here is a home directory that is very high utilization. And 172.30.0.7. So let's connect directly to that host. That will leave me in the home directory of the Nutanix user. Look around in here. Now the question did refer to an upgrade process that's not working. So let's see if there's any files left over from upgrades. No files in here, but a directory. Okay, we see one file in here. Let's take a look at how large it is. Okay, that file is quite large, so that's probably our problem. Let's remove that file. Run our command again. And now our home directory is more in line with the other CVMs that are out there. Now the next step of the process was to run the individual disk health check. Now this might be something you would need to look up in the documentation. I happen to have it written down. And assuming I don't have a typo, that command is going to kick off. Now we could, since we're not sure how long this is going to run, although really it'll just take a few seconds, we could flag this item for review. And then when we got to the end of the exam, we could see we had it flagged for review and go back and check on it. We'll just give it a second to run here. Okay, so that command is run. At the end of the exam, you can click complete assessment, click okay, and that will return you back to the exam desktop. Results should be emailed to you within 24 hours. Topics covered on the NCM MCI exam include storage performance, such as settings, evaluating workloads, and storage internals such as data pathing and failure handling, network performance, physical, virtual, and overlay networks, advanced networking, and the basics of flow. Advanced configuration and troubleshooting, this is where API and command line questions will be, security standards and risk mitigation, plus troubleshooting Nutanix services. We'll also look at virtual machine performance, configuring resource utilization and understanding metrics, and finally, the exam will cover business continuity, analyzing BCDR plans to meet business objectives and workload requirements. To prepare for the exam, we offer the Advanced Administrative and Performance Management, or AAPM, course, which was developed to cover the same objectives as the exam. This course is available as an instructor-led course, or there is a free version available online at Nutanix University. We also have a YouTube channel with videos covering topics from the exam, and our new Monday Masterclass blog series, which will have an NCM practice question about once a month. 
It's very important that you download and review the exam blueprint guide for this exam, or really any exam of ours you're going to take, which will cover all the material I have gone over here and more. Make sure you follow us on social media to stay connected and hear the latest updates from Nutanix Education. Thanks for listening to our NCM MCI version 6 overview. Learn more and get started today at Nutanix.com certification.